Hey guys, it's Crystal O and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am a lifestyle and beauty and faith and all that good stuff content creator. I feel like faith kind of falls into the, you know, bucket of lifestyle because that's my life, you know. But anyways, just wanted to hop on here to kind of share about this kind of new transition that I've come into. I know a lot of you guys have noticed. If you follow me on Instagram, you are pretty aware of this. But I have kind of dipped more into the influencing side of social media as well as content creation. I think I've been creating content on social media for years now, but I think I'm finally getting to a place where I'm like, oh, I could actually be paid to use things that I like and enjoy to share with my audience. Like, what? You know? So that's kind of where I feel like I am now. And I feel like God has really been opening doors of opportunities for me to actually have those, you know, um, chances or have those options to create content um, for some sh money, okay? Um, and before I just start this video, disclaimer, complete disclaimer, I am by no means an expert in influencing or content creation. I'm not perfect at all i'm still learning i'm still on my journey literally so i'm just gonna be sharing kind of my new transition and what it's been like to be working full time as a therapist and also low-key influencing part-time slash kind of sort of full-time because your girl works overtime at this point i work on the weekends on the weekdays like sis is always working as of right now just kind of where I am right now in the season of life. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig into some things that have just been on my heart on when it comes to influencing that I would love for you guys to also know. And also just, yeah, just kind of sharing more things that I am thinking and feeling. Um, this is a very open script video. I don't have notes. I didn't even think of notes. So let's go ahead and get started. So as a lot of you may know, um, a few months ago I did um, submit my application to be a part of the Sephora Squad 2020. Um, that was a huge leap of faith for me and as God may have it and as y'all have supported me and sent in all those amazing testimonials, I made it as a finalist into the Sephora Squad 2020. So I've done a lot of work with Sephora, using makeup products, you know, skincare stuff that I've tried and actually enjoy. And that's what I've been sharing with you guys since then. Super awesome opportunity and I love it because y'all, y'all, I love creating content. It's so much fun. Like, I don't know what it is about content and creation, but it's just like, you can literally just take something and make it your own and just kind of like add your own flavor to it and it's just so fun like uh kind of varying off sidetracking but i actually used to model like back in my days okay um uh, as a kid my mom did send me to modeling school for like a few months to a year i believe and um in college i modeled a bit actually like in college i was in the nigerian fashion week like just random stuff that I would be a part of. And I would do like runway modeling. So I really, really did love the whole like arts of like posing, modeling. Yeah, yes girl, you better. But I wasn't really comfortable with, you know, being told what to wear because as a model, you're just like, you're like a canvas. To me, like that's kind of my perception of it. You're a canvas and when a designer wants to design you or give you clothes to wear, you just wear, no questions asked. If your booty is out, that's just how you're gonna have to wear it, okay? That's just how it's gonna have to be, little mama. So, I was convicted and I was like, okay, maybe this is not a field or career for me. Um, and also, I'm, you know, a little thick. I don't, you know, I'm not like, you know, you know, you know. So, it was kind of like, okay, maybe I just wanna go into just creating content, doing my own thing, you know, basically playing by my rules and like my values and morals. So, that's kind of where content creation came from, where I had my own little space of you know what i can create what i can do what i love when i want to do it and all things like that so that's kind of how i ventured into content creation as a whole and of course i you know had that professional life i was in college and then i was in grad school and then now i am a working professional as a therapist full-time and you know it's yeah it's a full-time job legitimately so it has been a journey and I'm so thankful for everyone who has supported me thus far on this journey. I think one thing that I do want to highlight about me and my, you know, my brand and my name is that 
I will never promote or share something with you guys that I don't believe works or at least won't work for someone else or that I have not tried. I think that, you know, there is a learning curve when it comes to content creation and there's research that I have to, you know, do to make sure these products are actually okay for my audience things that i would actually use or am using and i would never pitch that to you if i didn't feel like it was safe or if it was like you know okay um a few weeks ago actually i got this partnership you know potential opportunity that i completely accepted and then turned down when i got there because i'm like oh no, I'm not promoting this to my audience. Like, I don't feel comfortable even like promoting this or even coming there myself. Like, money aside, you know, clout aside or, you know, whatever aside, I don't feel <laughs> comfortable sharing this. That's just one thing about me for sure that you can know that, hey, if Crystal is sharing this or Crystal is, you know, promoting this, she has at least tried it. She sees value in it. She thinks it can work for someone else. And she just likes the product. Not you know being compelled just by the green okay because at the end of the day my brand and my name means more to me than a check okay I'm not trying to lose my trust in my audience by just getting cut a check like that's not what I'm trying to do so that aside but moving more into how I started working full-time and balancing the whole influencing life um, I would honestly say that if you are seeking to be working full-time and influencing it is a lot that goes into it. I mean, my weekends are packed with shoots, content ideas lined up, um, calls, and just, I mean, throughout the week is lined up with calls. So I would say that the job that you would have to have would be, you know, somewhat flexible to a way where you can weave in content creation life into all of that. Even if you're not creating content Monday through Friday, you at least want to have some space in your life to, you know, do like little things like respond to emails quickly or negotiate and things like that. If you don't have like an assistant working for you, cause I don't, okay, I don't have an assistant. It's all, it's all me, it's all me, okay? It's a lot, but it's worth it if it's something that you generally feel like you've been called to and that you want to do. And you just have to find the, the, the force within you to push and persevere past the obstacles because they're there it can get really discouraging it can get really lonely when you're creating content and putting like your best or what you feel is your best out into the world and you get like two likes but i will say that you have to focus on if you like it then that's enough if you feel like you're content with it that's enough like recently a video a reel that i had posted literally went viral and i'm like i it was just having fun and I don't even know how to do makeup like eyeshadow like that but it literally went viral and I was just so in awe of like how God operates like we want to put our best foot forward but God's just like hey look put half your foot forward and I'll work with it okay I will work with whatever you put into my hands I will make what's going to happen for you happen with or without you thinking it's your best potential or your best work ever or just without being perfect so that really encourages me and i hope that encourages you uh, maybe i can share more about this whole content creation life and working full-time life it is a lot y'all and i am still learning and growing as i go the whole calendar schedule thing has been really hard for me because I just feel like it's so much that has to go on the schedule. And it's literally by the grace of God that I am still like, you know, keeping up with stuff. And I also feel like I could be doing better, right? I could be more efficient, more productive. But I think I'm also realizing my limitations and that I do need rest. So there are some weekends and some days on the weekend that I'm like, okay, it is time to rest. And like, you're not doing work, sis. You're not, you're not, you're not. So I think for me, um, I have had to learn balance and that has been super helpful for me being actually efficient in content creation. Now I would say that there are a couple of ways that you can support me and other of your favorite content creators. Before I met my husband, he did not realize like the importance or the value of liking paid partnerships or content or sponsorships or whatever. He didn't understand the importance of that because he felt like, oh, it's just a picture. But it's like, no, 
commenting, liking, sharing, reposting, all that stuff is super helpful for the success of a campaign or just even just encouraging the content creator who put so many hours into making that content. It can just be really helpful and it's not just a, oh my gosh, love me, I'm famous type of thing. Like no, it's truly helping that fave content creator of yours or that fave influencer of yours be encouraged to make more content to know that you actually like it. So like, 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 share, share, share as much as you can when you can. That's super helpful and super valuable for content creators. I think the last thing that I would say before I hop off is just a huge thank you for everyone who has been rocking with me since Crystal's Diary, since you know, I mean, y'all, it's been a it's been a journey since my single days, since my like, you know, heartbreak days, since my just uh wedding, and then now we're here, and it's just like we've been through so much, and I just I'm expecting to see what God is going to do. Um, I am trying to do better on the tube and trying to be present and you know continue showing up and pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I'm getting a new laptop that has like more storage so I can keep more videos and edit more videos at one time. So pray for me y'all because that's my next like big purchase where I'm like okay I have to like save up for a laptop with more memory so that I can be more efficient and productive with content because it's hard just being able to edit one video per like time and like you have to get it off your laptop to even edit a new one so it can be rough but anyways like I said before super thankful for you guys and I will catch you guys in my next video and if you are not following me on Instagram what are you doing okay go ahead and follow this is about to hit 10,000 followers and y'all that means that I can swipe up like that means I can like do the swipe up button where you know if I put something on my story like something cool that I found on Amazon or what I'm wearing or a, you know a link to a top that I have on I can literally post that and app you can just swipe up to go straight to the link so honestly that would be a gift because I'm so tired of like link in my bio and then you go to my bio and there's 50 links like that's that's too much that's too much that's too much so it would be a blessing if you skadoodled over there and followed if you have an instagram um and yeah that's basically all i have to say so i will talk to you guys in my next video and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day night morning all that good stuff all right guys till next time bye